So I just got in trouble a little bit because I was filming the flag of Afghanistan. That's all I took, um, but the police came and they had a look at my camera and we spoke. It's all good, but be careful where you film and take photos. Hey guys, so this is story time. Um, this is probably one of the most touching, most special experiences I am having on my travels. Um, so yeah, stay tuned for the next few slides so I can tell you everything. So tonight I probably had like my first breakdown in public, like on the plane, I walked in crying. Um, I was so upset, my bank screwed up majorly and I um, was worried and I'm still a bit worried that I'm not gonna have the money I need uh, for a trip and it's a bit scary and daunting um, because I need to take it out. Yeah, anyway, so that happened. Um, the flight attendants were so nice, they moved me to the back so I could have some privacy, but there was one guy who noticed me crying and wanted to speak to me, and he asked, he asked the flight attendants what's going on, and at the end of the flight, it was a short flight, an hour flight, he started speaking to me, and he invited me into his home, and everything he was like, come and stay with me, like insisted, and I was like, no, 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 it's okay, I'm just gonna stay at the airport, I want to sort this out, it's going to be too much of a hassle to like, leave, get my visa, get in, everything, like initially I was gonna leave so I can say, oh, I've been to Bahrain and then I'm like you know what I'll come back another day because I want to make it proper and make it count but now I've just had the most amazing experience like these absolute strangers have let me into their home um, giving me a place to stay they're gonna take me out for breakfast take me back to the airport um, just like people I don't even know like just so amazing and so so kind and this is the Middle East like so much fear-mongering in this world and I've just like rocked up and I'm being allowed in someone's home like true Arabic like hospitality but anyways I have to go to sleep because I'm only gonna get four hours and I'm gonna be up and she's gonna take me out for breakfast and drop me off at the airport and I'm off to my next adventure okay I'm off on my biggest adventure yet so I don't know what I'll share with you guys yet and I'm not saying where I'm going either um, maybe in a few days I'll tell you guys Okay, so I have arrived and I'm still not going to share where I am. Um, I'll decide whether I'll sit, share some stories once I've left or maybe I'll just share a YouTube video that you guys can go watch. But it's surreal. I can't believe it. being here um, it's just it's an amazing place and the people are really really friendly and so far I have not felt unsafe one bit Thank you. 
also a quick one. I'm going to do an Ask Me Anything. So if you have any questions about Iraq or my travels or my life, drop them in here and I'll answer them. Um, probably in 12 hours because I don't have Wi-Fi here always. of Saddam Hussein so really a lake house and there's nothing left uh, there's a salt lake and um, the militia destroyed it looks like little apartments I'm at Uruk um, this is the place where written words first formed or discovered um, there's lots of archaeology sites and maybe about 50 visitors a year such a
little cigarette and over that way is Abraham's house, so a bit of biblical history. where apparently the Garden of Eden was and Adam and Eve's tree. So I'm gonna go check that out and show you guys. Okay, it's raining and it's insane. Like I would never have thought it would rain this much in a while. Okay, so it's my last day in Iraq. Um, I'm in Basra. Uh, flying out of here tomorrow. Currently, the first stop this morning is at Saddam's yacht, and uh, it's been used for scientific purposes. I don't know what, other than for rust. I'm currently standing in um, Basra, Venice of Iraq, um, but it's, I haven't been in Venice yet, but it's nothing like I would expect Venice to be because there's just rubbish everywhere. It's actually really heartbreaking to see this. flu and I also got a stomach bug and it's been a nightmarish 24 hours. Okay, now that I've got my stories out of the way, I'm actually at the airport so I've got some spare time. So if you guys have any questions for me, um, if you want to message me, go for it. I'll try my best to reply. I'm so hungry. I didn't have breakfast because I've been working up and ate it. But okay, this is what it's seeing to me. Some cake, some nuts, crackers, chewing gum, drinks. Um, I've had at least 100 photos taken with random strangers here and about 20 guys 
guys just found me.